Dear students, and welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edu. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about preparations of our K from the Grignard reagent. Now, how is the Grignard reagent formed? The Grignard reagent is formed by reacting an alkyl halide with magnesium metal in the presence of dry ether. Now, this is how the reaction works. The Grignard reagent is prepared by reacting an alkyl halide. This is an alkyl halide with magnesium metal in the presence of dry ether. Okay, in the presence of dry ether, we get the Grignard, okay, we get the Grignard reagent. We get the Grignard reagent. Now, this is an alkyl halide, arrow bonding to X, because this represents an alkyl group, while this represents an halogen. So, plus magnesium metal in the presence of dry ether, our product becomes arrow NGX. So this is basically the Grignard reagent. This is the Grignard reagent. Now, how do we prepare our case from the Grignard reagent? Now, the Grignard reagent can our canes basically can be prepared from the Grignard reagent by reacting the Grignard reagent with number one. We can react the Grignard reagent with water. Reacting the Grignard reagent with water, H2O. Okay? Or if you don't react the Grignard reagent with water, you react the Grignard reagent with alcohol. Or alkanol. Okay? Or you react the Grignard reagent with amines. Okay? You can react the Grignard reagent with an amine or reacting the Grignard reagent with an alkyne. Okay? An alkyne, amine, or alkyne. Now, in today's video lesson, we shall be discussing about preparations of alkane from the Grignard reagent using these other compounds. Now, let's start with the first example, which reacting the Grignard reagent with water. Now, let's react the Grignard reagent with water and let's learn the reaction mechanism. Now, this is the Grignard reagent. So let's say um, reaction of the Grignard reagent. Okay, reaction of the Grignard reagent with water. And basically, water is also called oxidase, okay? And has a chemical formula, H2O. Now, this is how the reaction works. For example, this is a Grignard reagent, which is the arrow MGX. Reacting it with water, H2O. And water can also be written as HOH. Okay, showing the atoms, we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So what would be our product? This is how the reaction works. For production of our K. Now, whenever Grignard reagent react with water, we we'll get our canes, we get our canes and a basic salt. We get alkane and a basic salt. Now, basic salts are compounds that contain the hydroxyl group. 
Now, this is how the reaction works. For example, let's take an example using CH3 as our metal group, which is called as our alkyl group, basically, which is called the metal MgX. Now, the the halogen we are to use here, let's say we use bromine plus water. Let's write water in the form of HOH to give us. Now, we said whenever Brignard reagent reacts with water, we get alkene and a basic salt. Now, this is how the reaction works. The, the metal group is negatively charged, okay? And hydrogen atom here has a positive charge. So basically, the one hydrogen atom from water, one hydrogen atom from water combines with the metal group. So basically, when one hydrogen atom from water combined with the metal group, which is CH3, we get CH4. Okay? One hydrogen atom combined with the metal group, one hydrogen atom from water, okay, combines with the metal group. So we are going to get CH4 as our alkene. And this alkene is called the methane, okay, the first member of the alkane series, also called match gas or fire dam, okay. Now, the other product we get, we said we, we are going to get a basic salt, okay. Meanwhile, the other hydroxyl groups group here combines with this other group, which is the MGBR. So our product becomes um, Mg into bracket OHBR. Okay, so this is the basic salt form whenever a Grignard reagent reacts with water. We get our cane. Basically, in this context, we, we got methane plus the basic salt. Now, this is how the reaction works by reacting the Grignard reagent with water. Now, let's react the Grignard reagent with another compound mentioned earlier in the video. Now, let's react the Grignard reagent with an alkyne. Okay? Let's talk about the reaction of the Grignard reagent with alkynes. Now, this is how the reaction works. And basically, alkynes are also called acetylenes. Alkynes are also referred to as acetylene. Now, this is the Grignard reagent, R-O-N-G-X, reacting with an alkyne. So what will be our product? We'll get alkane as the major product and another minor product. So this is the reaction mechanism. Let's talk about the reaction mechanism. Remember I said for the Grignard preparations of alkane from the Grignard region, we remove one atom from the compound, one hydrogen atom basically, from the compound, we are reacting the Grignard reagent with. We use water as an example. Now we are on our kinds. Now, this is how the reaction works. For example, we are using CH3, magnesium, the bromide, which is the bromine, reacting with our kind like CH3 bonding to C, um, bonding to C, let's say, um, H, okay, this basically is called propyne. This compound is called propyne. Now, what will be our product? What will be our product? Remember, I said one hydrogen atom from the compound we are reacting the Grignard reagent with combines with the alkyl group, which is basically in itself. So, one hydrogen atom combines with the Metal group, okay. So we get the alkane to be methane, which is CH4, and the remaining other compounds combined together, which is the MgBr, and the other part of the compound, which is basically propane. So what we get as our minor product becomes um, MgBr 
and um, plus C H three bonding to C triple bond to D. Okay, so basically this is the product we get. These are the product we get as a minor, and this is the major product which is methane. Now, this is how the reaction mechanism works by reacting the Grignard reagent with alkyne. Remember, you remove one hydrogen atom from the uh, compound you are reacting the Grignard reagent with. So, basically, this is how the reaction mechanism works. Now, let's talk about reaction of the Grignard reagent with alcohol, basically alkanol. So, let's talk about the reaction mechanism. Which is reaction three? Alkanol. Now let's talk about the reaction mechanism. Reaction three. Now let's talk about the third reaction mechanism by reacting the Grignard reagent with an alkanol. Now alkanol basically are compounds from from alcohols because alcohols can be in three forms alkanol alkino or alkino so let's talk about reacting the grignard reagent romgx with an alcohol alkano basically now this is how the reaction works remember one hydrogen atom of the compound you are reacting the grignard reagent with combines with the alkyl group so what we get as our product for example we are using an example okay now let's take a good example let's use um c2 h5 mgx which is uh, let, me see, let me use the bromine atom plus alkanol like methanol ch3oh so what we get as our product is removing one hydrogen atom from the compound you are reacting the Grignard reagent with. So basically, this is an hydrogen atom combining with the alkyl group. So what we get as our product is C2H6. And C2H6 is called ethane. This is ethane. Plus, our other product we get is basically um, Mg into bracket. Now, we get um, O. CH3 bonding to um, the bromine. So basically, this is the product, the minor product we get, whereby the major product is methane. Now, I believe now we now understand the concept about preparations of our cane from the Grignard reagent. And don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edu. Anticipate more videos and thanks for watching.